Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Today, we will discuss some important topic in fundamentals of nursing. If you're ready, let's start. What is nursing? According to the American Nurses Association, it is the protection, promotion, and optimization of health and abilities, prevention of illness and injury, facilitation of healing, alleviation of suffering through the diagnosis and treatment of human response, and advocacy in the care of individuals, families, groups, communities, and population. According to Florence Nightingale, it is the act of utilizing the environment of the patient to assist him in his recovery. Nursing Theories Florence Nightingale Environmental Theory She identified five vital environmental factors. Fresh air, pure water, efficient drainage, sanitation, and direct sunlight. Faye Glenn Abdella, 21 Nursing Problems Theory. She modified the focus of nursing from disease centered to patient centered approach. Lydia Hall, The Three C's Care, Core, Cure Model. To care as the primary role of the professional nurse. The core is the patient receiving the nursing care, while cure is the administration of medications and treatment. Hildegard Peplau, Interpersonal Relations Theory. It's about the interpersonal process of therapeutic interactions of a nurse and a patient. Jean Watson, Theory of Transpersonal Caring. Caring is central to nursing practice, and it promotes health better than a simple medical cure. Martha Rogers, Theory of Unitary Human Beings. She defined nursing as an art and science that is humanistic and humanitarian. Dorothea Oram, Self-Care Theory, focuses on individual's ability to perform self-care. Imogen King, Theory of Goal Attainment. It is about nurse-patient relationship that involves communication, setting of goals, and work together to achieve it towards a better health. Dorothy Johnson, Behavioral System Model. Patient must have an effective behavior in order to prevent illness and stress. Madeline Leininger, Culture Care Theory of Diversity and Universality or the Transcultural Nursing. It's about the different culture of every patient that needs to be respected while performing efficient nursing care. Sister Calisteroy, Adaptation Model. An individual is a set of interrelated system that strives to maintain a balance on a various environmental stimuli. Abraham Maslow, Hierarchy of Needs, a theory of human motivation. It is a motivational theory in psychology that includes five levels. It starts from the most basic needs, which is the physiological needs, safety needs, love and belonging, self-esteem, and self-actualization. Nursing process. Assessment. It involves critical thinking and data collection. This includes the subjective and objective data. Diagnosis. It needs clinical judgment based in the assessment and to assist in the planning and implementation. The purpose of diagnosis is to identify the problem of the patient. Nanda, 
or the North American Nursing Diagnosis Association provides a list of different nursing diagnoses. It is also important to perform prioritization with the help of Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs and your ABC. Planning Goals and outcomes are being formulated. Goals should be SMART, which means it must be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-oriented. Implementation It is the implementation of nursing interventions outlined in the plan of care. Lastly is the evaluation. To evaluate if the desired outcome has been met, partially met, or not met. Nursing skills First is chest physiotherapy. It is a dependent nursing action and it is done by proper positioning of the patient, percussion, and vibration in order to loosen the secretions. Note, it needs a doctor's order. Since it is a dependent nursing intervention, check first if it is ordered by the physician before performing the procedure to the patient. It is best performed before meals. You should always consider the patient's tolerance during the procedure. There is a proper sequence in this procedure. First is the proper positioning of the patient followed by percussion and vibration. The proper position during postural drainage is if the secretions are in the upper area of the lungs, position the patient in an upright position. If the secretions are in the lower area of the lungs, position the patient in a T-burge position. If the secretions are in the right lung, position the patient in a left lateral position. If the secretions are in the left lung, position the patient in a right lateral position. Proper positioning is needed because the gravitational force is used to drain the secretions in postural drainage. Second is the percussion. It is the forceful striking of the chest using a cup hand. Don't forget to put a towel before percussion. This is to promote the patient's comfort. Lastly is the vibration. It is the vigorous quivering of the chest of the patient using the heel of the hand. You should perform vibration during patient's exhalation. After the procedure, inform the patient to cough and try to expectorate the secretions. Before we proceed, I just want to thank each and every one of you who keep on watching my videos and supporting to my channel by subscribing. Rest assured that I will do my best to help you understand each topic in the simplest way possible. It's always been my pleasure to help you. Okay, let's continue. Next skills is the nasogastric tube insertion, feeding, and removal. Purposes? First, it is for feeding and medication administration if the patients can't take it orally. It is also for gastric decompression. It is also for lavage, especially for cases of poisoning. And it is used to obtain gastric content for laboratory analysis. Note on NGT insertion. Position during the procedure is high fowlers with the head hyperextended. Check the proper length. For the adult, it is from tip of the nose to the earlobe to the siphoid process. While for the infant and child, it is from the tip of the nose to the earlobe to the point halfway between the siphoid process and umbilicus. Use only a water-based lubricant. If there is a positive resistance during insertion, withdraw the tube, check for any obstruction, relubricate the tube and reinsert on the other nostril. And if there is still positive resistance, consult the physician. For conscious patient, Ask them to swallow to facilitate the insertion. 
To confirm the proper placement of the tube, the patient should be able to speak. Another method is the use of a stethoscope by introducing an air while listening to the gurgling or whooshing sound in the stomach. But the most accurate is the use of an x-ray. Note on NGT feeding, the proper position is an upright position. Confirm if the tube is still in the proper place using the stethoscope. Check if there is any residual volume. If greater than 100 ml, hold the feeding and notify the physician. Introduce the feeding slowly to prevent GI upset. The height of a feeding is 12 inches. After feeding, inform the patient to remain upright for 30 minutes. Lastly, is document. Note on NGT removal. Instruct the patient to inhale and hold the breath while removing the tube. You can also check the link in the description below for the discussion about vital signs and other related topics. Let's continue the discussion in our next video for more nursing skills and procedures. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope you learn and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.